you define financial security? Okay, financial security is actually uh, you being able to meet life's basic needs. Second is actually financial security is actually having that peace of mind, Glenn. Okay, mm. peace of mind that you know you uh, any any thing. Uh, that happens to you and or your family members, mm -hmm. okay? Ano man ang mangyari, safe kayo. You're not worried about any emergency, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, uh, if you are asking me to define emergencies, it might be a medical emergency, okay? okay? And or family emergencies, I think it's, it's good that you, this is a very appropriate time, uh, Glenn, uh, you, uh, uh, you, you did this interview about financial literacy, uh, mainly because we're in, the, we're in this time of the year na we're going into the uh, Christmas season, uh, season diba? Uh, tapos na September, October, and we're on to November already, so... And normally Christmas season starts at September, eh, no? uh -oh. uh, In fact, you are aware already of the the sales going on around uh, <laughs> the the malls, diba? So it's very appropriate to uh, the by this medium we educate the the people, mm -hmm. yung uh, masang Pilipino, on how to actually use their money, okay? Um, definitely all will actually receive their 13th month but how they use that 13th month or how they use their money 15th 30th every payday will depend on how we you know uh, will depend on how we improve the lifestyle of our families mm -hmm. pray okay I hope and pray that you also do your part in in, uh, in uh, community development Lalo na, you, you, you came from, I always believe, Glenn, um, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a compelling reason. And God allows it, okay? Uh, it's, it will always be providential. What happens to us, what happens to us Filipinos will always be providential. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I believe in that too. I always believe that God blesses us because uh, we need to be a blessing to others mm -hmm. okay so pay it forward okay whatever blessing that comes to you okay oh. you have to uh, uh, again the i am remembered uh, of the parable of the talents diba? you are you, you need to actually use uh, whatever talents whatever blessings that you, uh, you that you receive and share it with uh, the the share with the rest yeah. To be able to, you know, uh, uh, be a blessing. All right, and, and, and so on, on that note, uh, I'd like to thank you, uh, Mr. Jerome Nava, our guest uh, this afternoon. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, for sharing your talents with us and helping uh, the Philippines News with our mission to educate uh, mm. the Filipinos right. uh, with everything uh, about business, uh, about lifestyle, right? You know, uh, about uh, uh, being able to save and, and have financial intelligence. Right. Okay. And we're also talking to the OFWs out there uh, who are actually grinding it out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if, if uh, we, we are part of the emerging market, you know, and uh, we're close to actually being part of that developing market already. So, yes. um, it's, it's, uh, financial literacy is uh, a critical piece mm -hmm. in moving into that direction. Eh. So, once we are able to improve the standing of that uh, of that low class, mm -hmm. and then bring them up into the middle class, and then the middle class brings them up to the higher uh, higher class, then we'll will be a better uh, Philippines. Okay. Economy will be better. God then. willing, uh, we'll be able to achieve that. Right? Yes, yes. So again, thank you very much. Uh, and thank you very much, Glenn. Thank you very much, and I hope this will not be the last.